<sighs> All right, guys, welcome back to All Play. We're here with more Soul Silver, and we just arrived. Last time, we just arrived in Violet City. It's time to check out our team. It's been a while since we checked out our team, guys. Let's go ahead and look at them. Up front, we got Perry, the Pimple Up, holding the amulet coin. He's brave nature. Uh, for those of you who care about competitive Pokemon, I don't know what natures mean. I don't. I've, I've given up on trying to memorize what natures mean. Uh, let's see this. But what it does do is it, it lets us know one of the stats is raised and one is lowered. You can see either attack is red and speed is lowered. I'm sorry, is blue. So that means either attack is raised and speed is lowered or speed is raised and attack is lowered. One of those two. Uh, Perry's stats are pretty decent. They're decent. That special attack, though. Look at that. That's going to be great later on. Uh, Perry knows pound, growl, bubble, and water sport. And then next we have Buzz, the naive uh, combi. Naive nature. Well, how do, how do I go to the next? There we go. That's how I go to the next. All right. Oh, and I even noticed uh, Perry's ability, torrent. Torrent means that when uh, Perry has a third or less health, water moves, water type moves used by Perry will get a bonus. And then let's go back to Buzz. Buzz has... Uh, bad stats <laughs> that speed is higher so i'm gonna guess red means that one is improved blue means that one is uh uh opposite of improved weekend something like that uh holding what's what's it holding it's holding nothing i should give it something to hold or not because it has the ability honey gather this pokemon may gather honey from somewhere so much like the pickup ability uh, pickup allows you to randomly pick up certain items based on your level after so many battles or after every other battle, whatever. So it's randomized. The way Honey Gather works is uh, Buzz might have honey after a battle. And Honey works like Sweet Scent, another move that Buzz knows. Basically, it makes it so that Pokemon want to gather towards you, and you can have fun with that. Buzz knows Sweet Scent and Gust. How long is Buzz going to be on the team? It's a good question. Next, we have Cascoon. We have Mystery the Cascoon, the Impish Cascoon. Uh, nature, nature. Oh, Impish. I, I said that already. Uh, look at those Look at those uh, stats. What's increased? What's decreased? Cascoon's not going to last long either. Ca uh, Mystery has the ability Shed Skin, which means if it develops a status problem, it might heal it on its own. I believe the chance is either 33% or 40%, something like that. And Mystery knows Harden. Chuck! Chuck the Pidgey! I'm actually happy that Chuck the Pidgey is here performing for you. Uh, timid Nature. Look at those stats. Okay, so maybe a speed boost and lower attack. That's not bad for a Pidgey. That's not bad at all. Tangled Feet, which means... Uh, if it becomes confused one way or another, then its evasion will be raised each turn that it's confused. Chuck only knows. Oh, excuse me. Chuck only knows tackle. We gotta change that, Chuck. Listen, you guys with the two attacks, the one attack that actually does something. Not a fan. Perry is carrying the team right now. We can't afford to lose Perry. Anybody else own anything? No. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give y'all some items before we go about our journey. We're gonna give y'all some items. All right. Who wants this muscle band? Let's give the muscle band to, uh, we'll give it to, to Chuck, because Chuck's going to be putting in the finest of work today. We're going to make sure Chuck gets some, gets some show time. I'll move Chuck up to where Buzz is. That's the side. But I move you down, that's the side. All right, we're going to go ahead. We're here in Violet City. It's a new city. Let's see. How do I feel about Violet City song? Violet City song, it gets a thumbs up. It gets a thumbs up. All right, so there's plenty of things we can do here in Violet City. This here is the gym. This is what, uh, who, who was it? Was it Professor Elm? Professor Elm mentioned going to all the various cities across this land and challenging the gyms. When you challenge a gym, you gain a gym badge if you win. And once you get eight gym badges, you can challenge the Pokemon League at the end of your journey. 
What we're going to do right now, though, we're not going to go to the gym. We're actually going to travel. I believe there's an area up here we need to go to. Ah, yes. Ah, yes, there is indeed. This here should be Sprout Tower. Ah, yes. It's Sprout Tower. We're going to go ahead into Sprout Tower. It's a perfect place to gain some experience, level up your team, and such. Look at that. Y'all saw that Rattata? Up in the, up in the, the boards? Up in the boards? It's pretty dope. Alright, so this is Sprout Tower. If you notice, that column in the middle is shaking. It's pretty, it's pretty not safe to be here. But we're going to go ahead anyways. Life is an adventure. Alright, so there's plenty of battles here. We got also, oh, I need, I need to leave real quick. Okay, I should have gone to the store to get Pokeballs because we can't encounter Pokemon in here. It just hit me. We can't encounter Pokemon here. Let's run to the store real quick. Go get us some Pokeballs. I'm really hyped to be here. This is, this is, it feels great to be playing Pokemon again. Where's the store? Where's the, where's the Pokemon store? That was the Pokemon Center. We need to find the Mart. Oh, it's right by the gym. Okay. All right. Let's buy some stuff. Let's see. Y'all got Pokeballs, right? Y'all sell Pokeballs. Good. Good. We have two in store. What we're going to do is we're going to buy 10. For those of you who don't know, anytime you buy at least ten Pokeballs, you get a what is it called? Commemorative item? You get a, you get a like a special deal. So we just bought ten Poke Pokeballs. We now have twelve because we already had two before. We also get a Premier Ball, which is it's basically a Pokeball, just looks different. That's all we're gonna buy today. We don't we don't we shouldn't need anything else just yet. The way I do Nuzlocke, we shouldn't need anything else just yet. If we die this early, we deserve it. Reserve it. All right, back to Sprout Tower. Look at the Rattata. You see the Rattata up in the boards? That's dope. All right. So let's see what will we run into here in the Sprout Tower. Oh, this is a trainer. This is a battle. Let's see what I'm gonna do. I wanna move. I wanna move Chuck up front. I want Chuck to Chuck to be out, and then we'll switch back to Perry. So that Chuck can gain some experience as well. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. Hope so, because it was already shaking before. Uh-oh, Sage Nico. He's got three Pokemon, all right? His first is a Sphiel. Come on, fail. All right. We're not... Let's see, should I... So what can Sphiel know? I swear if we lose Chuck already, I'm going to be sad. He can't know Ice Attacks this early. Defense Curl. Okay. He probably only knows Defense Curl. I hope. I hope he only knows Defense Curl. I'm thinking he only knows Defense Curl. But Chuck's going to work. Chuck's not caring about your defense. Chuck don't even care. All right. Now he's starting to care a little bit. I'm going to have to switch out. <laughs> I'm going to have to switch out from Chuck because now Chuck's not going to do anything. Watch. He did very little. He did very little. See, that's four defense curls, I believe. Once he gets to six, he can't do any more. Oh, he knows Growl. Okay. Okay. He knows defense curl and Growl, both of which are going to make this battle last longer than it needs to. Way longer. I'm going to keep Chuck in because Chuck's already done all the work. That wouldn't be fair. I'm going to let him get all the I'm gonna let him get all the experience. He can, he can have it all. Oh, Powder's no. No, he has to come out. He has to come the hell out. Come on, Chuck. Take it. Take it. Take it. Okay. Okay. This thing actually does know a move that can deal damage. Chuck, how many clicks? You got to go, family. Come on, Perry. That powder snow came out of nowhere, family. I'm not with it. I'm not here for it. Hold it. Good work. Good work, Perry. Ice attacks are good against birds. So that's why I got, uh, that's why I got Chuck. The F out of there. Come on, Perry. Good work. Good work. It'll be okay. Let's see. Can we send Chuck back out? Oh, Sage Nico has him a reap. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Just thought about that. Mareep is an electric type. I was going to say all of the days with Mareep. Mareep is an electric type. Birds are also weak against electric types. And then uh, Perry is a water type, which is also, also 
bad against electric types. This is not good. I'm going to send... Lord have mercy. And then Buzz can fly as well, can it? Buzz is bugging flying. I'm going to have to send Buzz, I think. I think I have to send Buzz just so I can test the waters. I am so sorry, Buzz. Tackle. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Buzz, we're going to use Gust. Come on. No electric. No electric. Tackle. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Just tackle your way through this one. Come on. Come on. Just tackle it up. It probably has static. If it has static, we're really in trouble. Static is an ability that says when it makes contact with another Pokemon, there's a chance that it could paralyze them. Okay, we missed. Good. We got the head up. We got the head up, Buzz. You might actually make it through this one. Hey, that crit though. Uh oh, that was a crit too. Come on, Buzz. Look at Buzz. Look at Buzz getting it going. All right, Buzz. Buzz gets all the experience. Oh no, he shares with Chuck. Chuck the five. That's what's up. Chuck no Santa Tech. Even better. Come on. Shop it. Shop it. I think we have to go back to uh, Perry now. I'm gonna I'm just have Perry run through it. That's all. We gotta heal. As soon as we leave, as soon as we're done with this battle, we're leaving the heal. Come on, Perry. Give him the business. Give him the business. Nah, oh, it held it. It held it for a little bit there. Knock off. Oh, he dropped the amulet coin. Lovely. Lovely. Too bad it doesn't do anything other than give me more money than we should have. All right. Oh, well. All right. We made it. Nobody died in our first real battle. All right. I'm going to leave here to go heal, and then I'll be right back. Promise. All right. We are back. Uh, let's see. We we should have an encounter. It's weird that we haven't had an encounter yet. But we gotta keep going. We got a focus band. Focus band is a an item that's meant to be held, and I believe it's for training. Let's see. Let's see what it does. Uh, oh, focus band. I got that mixed with something else. Uh, the holder may endure a potential knockout attack, leaving it with just one HP. If the Pokemon holding the focus band. It has full health and would take an attack that would kill it outright. Completely kill it, then it would be left with just one health. It's great for a move like Endeavor, which deals damage based on how much health you have left. Oh, we about to battle. Oh, we about to battle. We stand guard in this tower. Here, we express our gratitude to show our respect for all Pokemon. Here you go. All right. Sage Chow's finna get the business now. A Metatite. Pretty dope. Metatite is uh, psychic and fighting. Sadly, we don't know Gust. Otherwise, we could have given him the business. Bide. Oh, Biff. I remember back in the days when Bide used to kill me. The way Bide works is the Pokemon using it does nothing for two turns. But then after that, their next turn... They will deal damage equal to twice as much as damage as they took during the bide. During those two turns, they did nothing. So it's perfect that we chose Sand Attack for that turn because now that means Metatite won't do any, any damage to us. So next turn, he's going to unleash his bide, or he's going to try to. Yep, nothing happened. He didn't take any damage, so nothing happened. Then we can snuck in an attack. That's how you play. Sand Attack. This is, this is why sometimes you need moves that don't deal damage, so you can have a way around. Because trust me, had we hit him, he would have killed us. If, if tackle, one tackle, did that much, he would have dealt. There's no way we would have been able to kill it before. There's no way we would have been able to kill Metatite before he would have unleashed the bite. And he would have dealt a lot of damage to Chuck. A lot of damage. Another attack. Oh, he tried to. I should have. I should have hit him that turn. It'll be okay. 
What it looks like, he only knows bide, so let's test that out. Yep, he's stuck in a bide. He, he can't do anything but bide. So that's one. Here's two. And then next turn, we can go for a tackle. And then next turn after that, we can probably go for a tackle and get the kill. His, his accuracy won't drop anymore. So we can do a tackle here. His buy is going to fail. We can attack. Yes. Now, if he does buy it here, it doesn't matter because he's out. Fine. Fine. And that, lady, ladies and gent, that lady, gentlemen, is why you don't, you don't play like a munchkin. No munchkins. No munchkins allowed. Go ahead, Chuck. Chuck with the level up, up to six. I need Chuck to learn Gus soon. Chuck needs to learn Gus soon. A chimp char. That's interdasting. We're going to leave Chuck out just for now. Chuck's not getting in this battle, trust me. It's a fire monkey. We're going to switch over to Perry. Perry's got this one on lock. A level three chimp char. bam a -lam. You finna get hit with the wham -a bam Here you go. Here's a bubble. Hold this bubble for me. Hold this bubble for me. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Poor fire monkey. And a hound hour. All right, what we're going to do here is we're going to switch back to Chuck. Chuck, that I stay it in. Trust me. Oh, he's holding. He, I gave him the muscle band, right? That muscle band must be where all the, the extra damage from that tackle came in because I did not see it doing that much. Let's try a sand attack. I'm going to keep you in for a little bit, Chuck. Hound Hour shouldn't know any moves that should really hurt you. Oh, never mind. You got to come out, Chuck. You are burnt. Burn is a status ailment. It will deal damage every single turn. It will also weaken the damage that physical attacks do. Chuck, you got to come out. So sorry. There's a Leer. Trying to lower that defense for the soul. Come on, Perry. Give him the business. Give him the business. Business was oh he held on. Oh he held on, huh? I got something for that. Give him a pound. Give him a pound. A pound of what? Check the level seven. Come on, Perry. Good work, team. Snaps and Claps is doing it right now. Team Snaps and Claps is is really standing up today. I'm back. I'm proud. I'm proud of y'all. Alright, let's get out of here because our boy Chuck is burnt. We need to actually heal that. So, once again, going to heal that. I'll be right back. Oh, our encounter. This is our encounter in Sprout Tower, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Shinx. Shinx isn't too bad. Shinx isn't too bad. It adds a little bit of diversity to the team. I would never use a Shinx. I don't think I've ever used a Shinx. It has the ability Intimidate, which means when it's sent out into battle, it will lower the opponent's uh, attack stats. So Chuck got his attack lowered for this battle, which isn't bad because we're going to try and catch Shinx. Shinx with the tackle. Come on. All right. Prime. He's in the prime area for catching. There's nice real estate in that area. Come on. Let's see if we can get Shinx with a Pokeball. Let's save the Premier Ball for something a little bit more interdasting. All right. We got this Shinx on the team, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be interesting. I've actually never really used Shinx. I don't think I've even evolved it to be... Yeah, I don't think I've ever even evolved a Shinx. Shinx is the Flash Pokemon. The extension and contraction of its muscles generate electricity. Its fur glows when it's in trouble. All right, I got the perfect name for you then, family. It's a male Shinx. This is, I mean, y'all probably saw this one coming. This is Flash. This is Flash the Shinx. Welcome to the team, little buddy. I should go heal you. I'm not going to go heal you. We just, we, we're not even back where we're supposed to be. This is the room. This room here is where we're supposed to be. It was it was in the middle of me running back. All right, so there's Shinx in here. We actually got to be a little bit careful if there's Shinx in here. All right. Perry and Chuck, it's still your training day. There's an item. It's a tiny mushroom. 
Tiny mushrooms will probably have more use later in the game. We're not going to worry about it right now. Oh, it's a battle. We got a battle. I sway like leaves in the wind. I bet you do. I bet you do, girl. <laughs> All right, Edmund. Edmund has a fan pee. Pretty dope. Uh, Chuck, show him your sand attack, please. Accuracy drop. This right here is an accuracy dropper. I might actually keep sand attack on Chuck. Sand attack is one of the very few moves that don't deal damage that I like. Sand attack will save your life. Ladies and gentlemen, sand attack will save your life. I want you guys to remember that day in and day out. Sand attack might have saved your life once before. That curl though. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, I think you got this one, Chuck. I think you got this. Yep. Next attack, we'll do it. Come on. All right, good work, Chuck. Good work. Good work. Oh, that crit, though. Look at that. Perfect. It's Gus time, isn't it, Chuck? Isn't it Gus time? No, it's not Gus time. When does he learn Gust? Geodude's coming out. We are definitely getting Chuck the F out of there. Birds suck against rock type moves or rock type Pokemon in general. So we're going to switch Perry back in. Perry and Chuck carrying the team right now. Go ahead, guys. Defense curl. I think we get rid of that Geodude in one shot. I don't care about no defense curl. Go for it. Oh, it might, know, it might have sturdy as, as its ability. Sturdy works just like the must. Was it focus band? I should say focus band. Um, if we hit it with a one-hit knockout move or a move that will kill it in one shot, then it's going to have one HP. Nope. No sturdy. No sturdy for the Geodude. That's good. Because that's one of the most infuriating things ever. Running into a Geodude and then it having sturdy when you have a move that should kill it in one shot. So infuriating. Here's a Bulbasaur. We are in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. We don't have anything really good against Bulbasaur. Uh, Buzz. Buzz. What do your moves say, Buzz? Okay, let's try Buzz. Buzz has Gust. Let's try Buzz. I swear I'm not trying to kill Buzz, all right? I'm not. I promise. I promise. Bulbasaur's grass type. Grass type suck against flying type attacks. So, Buzz, give him the business. Damn! That crit, though! Ooh, that crit, though! Look at Buzz. Buzz is showing out and showing up. Here we go. I said that backwards. We're just going to roll past it. All right, we're just going to roll on. Oh, I'm weak. Oh, Joey's calling. I'll answer the phone. Oops. Well, we talked to this man instead of answering the phone. It'll be all right. You'll be okay, Joey. How y'all doing? Uh, Chuck's down eight health. Flash is obviously not going into battle. Not just like that, he's not. I want, I'm a, how many potions do I have? How many potions? How do I go to... There we go. Oh, we got... I'll, I'll heal him. I'll heal him. We have enough potions for everyone else to still have one. Or everyone to still have one. And everyone will be sending in, at least. Anything over here? No? Okay. Let's go up the ladder some more. Oh, we're at the top of the tower already? Why do I remember this tower being much, much larger than this? It's a lava cookie. I think lava cookies heal any one steel status ailment. Let's see. Yes, it'll heal any status problem that one Pokemon has. All right, so let's enter here. Let's go this way so that we don't have a battle immediately after a battle. Here we go. I train to find enlightenment in Pokemon. Come on. All right, Jin. Jin sent out a, a slow poke. Curtis, oh, it's actually, his level is pretty high. Let's hit it with that sand attack. Come on, Chuck. Come on, Chuck. Curse. Oh, I forgot. Oh, oh I was scared. Curse, curse has, works one of two ways. 
curse will either raise, I'm sorry, lower speed and raise attack and defense. Or it will lower its user's HP, cut it in half to curse the opponent and take away HP's turn. I actually need to worry about Chuck right now. Because of that one, uh, that curse, it, it raised Slowpoke's stats by a lot. The second instant only works with Ghost Pokemon. Yeah, I need to get Chuck the hell out of there. I need to get him out of there. That speed is is probably high enough for Slowpoke to go first. Nope, not yet. Oh yes, Chuck needs to get the hell out of there. But whoever I send in is in trouble. Whoever I send in is in trouble. I'm, I'm gonna keep him in. I'm gonna try my best. Curse. He's at five curses. Have we done five turns yet? I think he might be at five curses. This is dangerous. Y'all ready for this? Oh, yawn. Oh, he knows yawn and, and curse. Please tell me. If he knows nothing else, we'll be okay. I need to get him out of there or else he's going to go to sleep. That's not good. I'm sending mystery. Mystery can't do anything. I'll send in mystery. Oh, he knows tackle. That's not good. He actually can kill us. He can kill us with as many curses as he's just used. I'm so scared. I'm so scared right now. Uh, let's harden. Harden. It's, it's not gonna be worth. It's not gonna work. But I'm gonna harden. All right. Now we have to switch again. Actually, we can leave. We can leave mystery out here. We can leave mystery. What? This thing knows four attacks at level six. It knows growl, yawn, curse, and tackle. Come on, family. That's six curses. That's six curses. Speed. Let's see. Attack and defense shouldn't rise anymore. Come on. I want to see that tackle land here and nowhere else. That's the thing. That's why I haven't done anything yet. He's still not even... Wait, wait. Oh, shed skin worked. Okay. So he didn't use six yet. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to raise his attack and defense or lower his speed anymore. That tackle just missed. Come on, mystery. Tackle landed. Wow, and it still only did half damage. I'm not switching into somebody to give them the tackle. That's not fair. That's not fair. Come on. That could be how much, how little help was taken out could just be because of Mystery's defense. As a cocoon, it's pretty high, and then all we've been doing is um, harden. It, it could wipe out anyone else. You're not going to land it because of all the sand attacks. There it is. Yeah, that defense. That Harden has been saving uh, Mystery. That's all. That's the only reason. Uh, that's the only reason it held that first one and then that second one. All right, so whoever we go into has to be able to kill, uh, kill that Slowpoke. I'm so scared to send Perry. I'm so scared to send Perry and Chuck, to be honest. I'm going to send Chuck. Come on, Chuck. Chuck, I need you to work. I need you to work. Damn that crit, though. All right, Chuck. I need you to do Oh, the way crit works, it ignores stat changes. So any stat changes that would have happened to Chuck don't matter. The, all that defense raising, the slow poke, didn't matter at all. Come on, Chuck. Oh no. All right, we gotta get Chuck out of there. We gotta switch to somebody that can actually deal damage. We need a crit to land. That's what we really need. Flash, what's your moveset? Just tackle? All right, you're not going in. Yeah, I can't sit you in. I should have sent you first. I should have sent you before uh, Chuck. Hopefully, you'd be fast enough and then you could have gotten slow poke with the good stuff. Yawn. Okay, Buzz, I need you to land this Gust. First, I need you to be fast, and then I need you to land this Gust and kill him. 
Gus is a special attack, so it doesn't look at defense. Yes! Oh, sweet baby Jesus! That slowpoke was set to kill us. Go ahead, Chuck. Go ahead, Buzz. I'm so sorry, Mystery. I'm so sorry, Mystery. Buzz just leveled up. All right. Do you guys need to go back to the... You guys need to go back to the uh, the good old Pokemon Center? No, you guys are actually fine. I'm so sorry, Mystery. You had to be the first one to go. All right. So if we were to move to the right and then go up, we would enter a battle. And then as soon as we get out of that battle, we'd enter another one. We're only going to do one battle, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. The Elder's TM likes even pitch black darkness. All right. I think I know what it can be. Then you're going to say stuff like that. It's Sage Neil. A Cherubi. All right. Cherubi finna get the business. Chuck, you are so close to level nine. Let's give him the business. A tackle. All right. Not bad. Not as good as us, but not bad. Come on, Chuck. Give it to him, Chuck. One more. One more will do it. How many Pokemon did... Oh, he only has one Pokemon. Okay, fine. Fine. All right. Good work. Now you should know Gus. There we go. Chuck is finally, finally here and ready to go. It is my head that is bright. All right. So we're not going to fight this guy to the right. We're going to actually heal up real quick. Because we have to fight their leader, the Elder. I believe we have to fight him, right? I believe we fight him. All right. Who is that? Hey, look who that is. Look who is that. You showed us what you've got, and it is indeed good. Take this technical machine. However, you should care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. Hmm. He called himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how you should be nice to Pokemon, they cannot defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon that win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. Silver using escape route. He out this bit. Alright, so what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to run over here and grab this. Oh, it's probably not an escape rope, is it? It's not an escape rope. Normally this is so that when we're done here, we can just leave. Turns out, when you randomize stuff, it's not being what it's supposed to be. Alright, so we're going to fight the Elder. I'm going to take Chuck out of the lead real quick. I'm going to leave with Perry. I believe he might have three Pokemon. So we should switch into Chuck. We should be able to, I should say. And then, and then later we'll be we'll be doing what we want to do. Here we go. Let's do it. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. All right, Elder, come get this business. Elder Lee. Yeah, he's got three. Wow. Wow, his name. <laughs> his name. Oh, my God. All right. We're up against an Ekans. He has Intimidate. Remember, when you throw out a Pokemon with Intimidate, it lowers the opponent's attack. Here's a bubble. Hold this bubble for me, family lamb. Uh-oh. There's a wrap. All right, so we can't switch out here. It's all right. We won't, we won't need to. He only did one point of damage with that wrap. Oh, never mind. The wrap actually did a total of three. It, the rap will deal two each turn. Poison Sting, please don't be poisoned. We have the worst luck when it comes to poisonings and burns. We have the worst luck. Uh, I should probably finish giving him the business. Good work, Perry. The rap's over, but you still got the poison damage. Go ahead. Go ahead with your bad self. Hurt by poison. It'll be all right. Uh, Bell Sprout. Yes, we have to switch. We're going to switch, and we're actually going to waste the first turn 
um, healing Perry. I'm going to get rid of that poison for Perry. Uh, Chuck will be fine against the Bellsprout for a while. Uh, oh, we don't have, we didn't get any antidotes. Oh, that's not good at all. Because Perry could have died on the way back to the Pokemon Center if that's the case. Remember, we don't have an escape rope. All right, that special attack is up. We need to take Bellsprout out post haste or quickly. Come on, Chuck. Grow. Nope, he's got to go. He's got to go. All right. Good work, Chuck. Yeah. Chuck to level 10. Team's doing pretty good. I'm proud of this team so far. Ladyba. Ladyba. Will we keep we'll keep Chuck in for Ladyba. Ladyba is a bug, obviously. Here's the gust. Oh yo. Oh no. Come on. Is it part flying? I think Ladybug is part flying. That's why Gus isn't doing too much. Come on. Oh, Comet Punch. Come on. Here we go. There's the Gust. There's the Gust. Oh. Oh. We need to be elderly. <laughs> we need to be elderly. All right, Chuck. Chuck's at level 11. Ah, excellent. Mm, the way you battle is quite elegant. You should be able to stand up to Faulkner, and you should be able to make good use of this. It is a technical machine called Flash. Take it with you. We got TM70. When a Pokemon learns Flash, you can illuminate caves, no matter how dark they may be. You may try it on Bellsprout, for example. I am not. I am not. Uh, let's answer the phone. Hi, Mom. How I answer the phone? There we go. Hello? Oh, hi, Chill. How are you? I found a useful item while shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry, but I asked the delivery man to take it to you, so you should stop by the nearest Pokemart or department store and pick it up. I know it'll be useful. Mom is out buying stuff with our money. Our hard-earned cash flow. This is Team Snaps and Claps Funds, and she's buying stuff with it. Come on, Mom. You're laundering. You're money laundering. That's laundering, right? That's what laundering is. <laughs> Come on, Mom. Jesus. We're going to head back and heal. I think we've accomplished all we're going to accomplish today. I should train up. I think I should train up a little bit so that we don't get beaten by Faulkner, the leader of the Violet City Gym. We probably should train up. Uh, I think I think I might train a little bit. I might train a little bit, and I'll, I'll check back in with you guys and let you know how our team is doing. <sighs> like I said, I want to accomplish at least one major event a day. That was the first event we had to go to Violet City's uh, Sprout Tower. We had to go to the Sprout Tower and get Flash. I'm probably not going to need it. I don't think there's a point at which you definitely need it for the game. You don't have to go to the Dark Cave. But uh, I want to get it. It's, it is, it's an accomplishment. We caught a Pokemon. We beat we beat a major leader within the game. Oops. Uh, we need... Okay. So this is the final rule of the Nuzlocke. If a Pokemon faints, such as Mystery, they are considered dead. You can't use them anymore. How do I... Isn't there a way I can change it? No. I can't make it my hand gold. I could swear that was this game. Uh... If a Pokemon thinks they're considered dead and you can't use them anymore. So that's exactly what's going to happen. How do I? Can't I change the name of this box? There we go. No? No? What just happened? What just happened? Where? where why is this here? Why is this in box one? Oh my god, this is so confusing. Here we go. There we go. There we go. All right. There we go. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> I'll figure this out in between episodes. I don't want to waste time here, okay? It'll be fine. It'll be oh oh, it's because I went to deposit and not move. It'll be fine. I'm gonna heal up real quick and then we'll call it guys. If you enjoyed this episode, 
of our Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. I would love to see more. And all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. Well, that's not subscribe button. Thanks for the thanks for the healing there, Joy. Now that's that subscribe button. And I'll do my best to make sure you guys can see more episodes of Pokemon Soul Silver. More challenges like the Nuzlocke runs, as well as everything else that All Play has to offer. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on All Play. How you feeling, Perry? Your Pokemon stretched out. Why is Perry? We got one of those Pokemon. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.